All right, guys, so we got a nail video, and I'm going to go right into showing you guys the things that you're going to need. So I'm going to be using a nail brush, a um, some glue. I'm using Kiss, some maximum speed glue. Um, I like to use a gel top coat for this, um, just simply because it gives it more structure. But if you do not have gel, um, this Salon Perfect from Walmart top coat plumping gel is perfectly good. It does not require you to use a light. Um, the color that I'm going to be using is by Simple Colors, and it is called Go Go Girl. It's a really pretty, nasty, ratchet. 90s red color and I think I, I paid about two dollars for this nail polish um, a nail brush cleaner this is optional you don't have to have this but I just prefer it um, a cuticle trimmer some scissors and a good nail file this is optional as well but I do like to use a nail file because it does help to adhere it helps for the nail to stick better um, and you're going to need your nails. These are full press-on nails from Amazon. This is by Nails Gaga. And I think this was about $8 from Amazon. I love these nails. And a light. I, I'm using an old school UV light, but you can also use an LED light or whatever you have. And also some acetone. Some 100% pure acetone. Mine has a pump. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've gotten all my nails out already. I've already prepped all of that kind of stuff. My nails look terrible. I just took off some gel polish. And I'm just using the nail to actually push back my cuticle. You can use a cuticle pusher if you like. But I'm just going to be using these nails because they work just as fine. Um, I think I, I recommend using um, pushing your cuticles back because it does help to give you you know just you want as much nail for you to put your nails on as possible so I'm using my file here it's just file away and you don't have to do it this way I don't recommend you doing it that way um, but like I said before I just prefer to use a nail file because it does help the nail to adhere a lot better so I am filing and you want to be gentle, you don't want to go too hard, just to kind of roughen up the nail plate. Alright, so this is brush, brush, brush time. You can brush, brush, brush all that debris off of your nail. If we were doing our nails the regular way with acrylic and all of that, you probably need to cleanse the nail plate and all of that good stuff but this brush is going to be just fine and that is optional you don't have to use a brush if you don't want to so i'm just going in with the nail glue and i'm putting my nail on my nails <laughs> and um you can see that there are probably a little bit of air bubbles if you do find that you have air bubbles in your nail that is okay you don't it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to polish anyway um, so if you just cannot just get that nail to where it's like um, not completely full and you have an air bubble then that's fine I didn't really have a lot of glue in my bottle so that's kind of the reason why I had a lot of bubbles but I don't care it's gonna be all right it's gonna be okay it's gonna still look cute okay you're applying your nail to the nail plate with this glue you want to try to hold it down for at least a good 20 to 30 seconds or however long you can hold it down because you just you just don't want it to pop off but um, that's another great reason of why I chose to roughen up my nail plate a little bit so yeah you want to hold it down for a good 10 to 20 seconds I didn't because this was some really fast drying glue but 10 to 20 seconds is pretty much all you need 30 at the long
right, guys. So we are right here with our ratchet long nails. Make sure you put that top back on that nail glue because you don't want it to dry out for next time. Yes, but these are them long nails. And I'm going to get ready to go in and cut and shape. Um, so I'm going to be using my scissors. You can use a nail clipper if you want to, but I just like, I prefer to use scissors because they work a lot better for me. So I'm just cutting my nail to my preferred shape and length. I'm going to go with a coffin shaped nail. And it doesn't have to be perfect when you cut it. You just kind of want it. Actually, you do want it to kind of overlap a little bit from what your preferred length and shape is going to be. Because you are going to go in with that file again to perfect that shape. This nail I did actually mess up on my index finger. I messed up just a little bit, but it's okay because you can't really tell. And nobody's really looking that close to your nails anyway. But I'm going in and I'm just shaping up my nail, cutting my nail to my preferred shape. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and file and then we're going to be ready to polish. And I also wanted to mention, guys, that these nails actually are pretty durable. They do last for a while. I know I have worn some for about maybe three weeks at the most. Um, you might have to reapply some glue on them every so often. But for the most part, I have noticed that they do last pretty long, especially with that gel top coat. So they do last pretty long, and they are quite durable, considering they are press-on nails, okay? guys I'm going in with this nasty not this red color go go girl I just had to have this color when I saw it at Walmart it's just such a pretty plastic bright red color so I'm doing two coats of this nail color and I'm gonna do two coats of the gel top coat the poochie's nail gel top coat as you can see right here I have made some mistakes and I have soaked my nail walls with this nail polish but that's okay because we do have our nail cleaner and it's going to go up and clean all of those little mistakes and when you're polishing you want to make sure that you are coating your tips and um, you know turning your nail around and making sure that you got all that nail polish on those ends because you don't want that nail polish to come off and you want it to be really really pretty and vibrant and it makes it look really really good and professional All right guys, so we are getting down to the wire. I have polished my nails twice. Before this is before, I put my gel top coat on and I'm cleaning up around my nail plate and making sure I get a nice crisp clean look. And right here, I this is your choice if you wanna, you know, if you don't have a, a light, a UV light or LED light, you can use this Plumping Salon Perfect. I love this stuff because it really does kind of give your nail a really full thick look and it doesn't make it look really really thin you know like with these nails so I'm gonna go with my Poochie's nails top coat um, it's two minutes if you're using a, a UV light and 30 seconds if you're using an LED light um, I did use two coats of this because I wanted my nails to be really structured and thick kind of thick and you know I want it to last long I don't want them to look like press on this really did help with that so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to thumbs up and subscribe these are my nails and I just love them and just yeah leave some comments and some suggestions below if you like it and I will see you guys in the next video bye